the Halloween event has been taken away from us. At the time I'm recording this, it is midnight on the 21st, so it just became the 21st. We are a whole week away from Halloween, more than that. And they took the whole Halloween event out. I have no idea why, but I was doing this series where we do the first room challenge on every map and we abuse the jack-o'-lanterns trying to get as far as we can. And it doesn't look like we can do that anymore. But today... We're going to try to do it on D-Machine without the pumpkins just to show the big difference between the two. So let's hop into it. All right, here we go. Flying on in for what will be a very sad first room challenge. You know, I'm going to be surprised if I can even make it to round 20. Now, there's a rumor floating around on why the Halloween event was taken out. And a lot of people think it's because the Modern Warfare 2 campaign was released early today. And I personally, I can kind of see it, but I don't know uh, if, if that is the case. I don't know why they would do that. One, like I mentioned before, is not even Halloween yet. Why get rid of the Halloween event? And two, I don't think there's that crazy of an overlap between zombies players and people that play Modern Warfare, let alone the campaign. I know there's people out there that are like big fans of whatever developer does whatever. Like people are big Treyarch fans and other people are Infinity Ward. Like some people only play like the Black Ops games. Some people only play Modern Warfare. I personally will just play them all. I don't really care. But people that play zombies and people that play campaign i don't feel like there's that much crossover especially when you can kind of beat the whole campaign in one day like it just takes like i think five hours total if you're just running through the campaign and then after those five hours you're like man let me go play some zombies guess what event's not there anymore but i'm not gonna be one of those people like oh i'm not gonna get modern warfare now they completely took out cold war's best event just to promote the campaign uh, this is obviously an attack on cold war players i i, I don't feel like that's the case uh, i'm not gonna be canceling my pre-order or nothing i am a little upset because the halloween event is the most fun time of the year uh it makes it really exciting to play uh, you obviously get super overpowered, but that's the fun part about playing zombies is trying to get as overpowered as possible and trying to survive as long as possible. And the Halloween event just helps you do both a lot faster. It just speeds it up. My glass half full take is that they're going to take it out and bring back the pre-nerfed version where you're going to get ray guns and gold chalices on round one. Maybe maybe they're just like, OK, let's give it a little break for a, for a bit. And then when they come back, it'll be even better. But I don't think that's going to happen. If they do bring it back, it'll be like the same version. But it's fun to speculate. But it, it extra sucks for me because last night I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I don't feel like I, I got the energy to record. I'm just going to take tonight off. I'll record this video tomorrow. By the time I woke up, pumpkins gone. Completely took them out. So I'm like, damn, maybe I should have just fought through it and recorded. But and now here we are fighting zombies with normal heads like a loser. What's going to be even worse about this is if that was the last time we ever see the Halloween event in Cold War. Because I was surprised they put it back in this year, like two years after the game's release. You know, it was, it was a nice addition to see it come around when October hit. But I feel like they're starting to get into the flow of working on their next new game. They're not really doing too much with Cold War. Like Treyarch's working on like Black Ops six i think whatever whatever black ops game they're on now if it's even going to be a black ops game but treyarch's own game they're going to get like a two-year development cycle with modern warfare lasting two years and then they get their game for two years at least that's the rumors so we could have seen the last of this halloween event and i'll be really upset if we did at least if they are not going to put it in the game anymore there should just be a separate option like when you go into cold war you should be able to select like d machina and then select halloween mode or whatever so it's still there for the people that want to play it and go back and see it like years later that'd be a good way to appease the people that want to play it and appease the people that don't like it because i have seen a lot of people saying like oh thank god it's gone you know cold wars are already too easy i i want a, a little bit of a challenge back like, give us the option to use it. What it does, you know, bring the question is it only appearing for a limited time, make it special, make it fun that way, which I kind of think so. And having the choice would that kind of ruin it? Maybe. But, you know, let's try it out. Let's see. Let the people pick. But now we're starting to get a little high of a round. I mean, it is round eight, so it's not terrible. The shotgun's still going to be fine until like, I don't know, maybe round 20. But I'm really scared of the Megatons. I don't know what I'm going to do against them. So I'm just trying to think of a strategy. I do have Aether Shroud here so I can get out of anything kind of like sticky. But I'm trying to save up some scrap so I can buy some death machines. I think that's what's going to really help me out here. But until then, I'm hanging on to these stuns. So if a Megaton does show up, I can stun it and try to get some damage on it so it's not pelting me with radiation or punching me across the map so i guess we'll see how that goes as for right now i'm trying to get all the zombies to actually come out of their spawns and onto the map to make sure i'm getting all the drops from that i can i need all that salvage one of these zombies is going to be a, a nice gentleman and drop me some armor which i'll desperately need oh wait i already have it what why did i pick that up 
What did that happen? I guess this new update added dementia. We made it to round 10. That should be uh, an achievement in itself for me. At least for this challenge, I'm I'm a little used to training around here in spawn. I, I say that and I'm going to get like absolutely destroyed by bad training on this. But a lot of my round 100s I've done on D Machine. It's either me using like an M79 sitting somewhere because that's just a fun, easy way to get to round 100 without, you know, using my brain. But the other times, it's just me training around here in spawn with, like, Shatter Blast. So I kind of know the path I got to take to try to be as safe as possible. But it's going to be a little different without uh, any Pack-A-Punch, any, like, type of Wonder Weapon, and no ammo mods. It's going to be a little tough out here. Also, going back to the whole Modern Warfare 2 campaign thing released in a day, uh, for those of you wondering if I'll play it, I think I will. Uh, I was planning on it, but I also haven't finished the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign yet. I thought the campaign was coming out like midnight thursday night like the same time the actual game's gonna release but just a week earlier but it ended up releasing at like 1 p.m my time and i woke up and everyone's already playing it and i was like all right shit well i i, I miscalculated this and i was planning on streaming it but i kind of figured that like everybody trying to watch the campaign streams at that point have already like seen some people play it or were playing it themselves and then i'd be starting at the beginning and everyone's already like further ahead like seeing new stuff nobody wants to come back and watch like a repeat especially so early on with the campaign releasing I figure people just be burnt out because like every COD content creator is making a, a campaign let's play or stream or whatever. And seeing even different people play the same missions over and over again, you're just gonna be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of bored of this. So let me know if you, you want to see me stream the campaign. Want to me make like a, a video on it or something? Like I'm still down to play it, but I, I don't want to give you guys content that you guys have already been getting, you know? I don't want to force feed the campaign down your throat but it's around 13 and there's still not a megaton though kind of crazy i kind of wanted to just show up and you know get it out of the way for the next few rounds because i doubt one's going to spawn on back to back rounds but if we get one here at round like 13 14 you know something low where the zombies are still really really manageable and we can kind of just focus on taking the megaton out that'd be nice and then for at least like the next two three rounds don't have to worry about a megaton showing up at all i have a feeling it's going to show up at like round 16 the zombies are just going to start getting a little pep in their step and you know, doing a little more damage. I'm just nervous for that first appearance. But do I have enough to get a death machine now? I do. Give me that. You guys ever just try to look around like the outside of the map? Like who's camping back here? Whose camp setup is that? And I've mentioned this before, but who's bringing shopping carts here? Look around. What other buildings do you see? Like, yeah, there's a whole base here in a bunker, but I don't see a, a, a TJ Maxx anywhere near here where they're grabbing sh shopping carts from. And there's a lot of them too. One right there, two right there. I know there's one in Penthouse. Like, where are they getting these all from? Are they manufactured here? Like outside of making like particle accelerators and a whole, a whole dimensional rift bringing zombies in? Or do they just make shopping carts in their spare time with, you know, extra resources? Like someone explain this. Why are they here? Oh, here comes our first Megaton. Get stunned immediately. I need you to stay still. Oh, this gallo is kind of nice. We already got him split. Let's stun them. Get the bomber out of here. Let's go. The blaster's taking a little bit of damage. Still need to finish it off, though. Pause. But honestly, a lot easier than I was I was thinking it would be. Don't hit me, please. Don't hit me while I'm saying you're going to be easy. We do not need that kind of commentator's curse right now. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, he's one shot. Weak, weak, weak. On me. Did I get him? No. But this reload is starting to become annoying. It's taking too long. We're not doing that bad so far. I think we might actually be able to make it to, like, round 30. You know, knock on wood, though. The second I start speaking, the, the exact opposite is about to happen. Oh, shit. Well, that's why we have it. That was an involuntary oh, shit, while I hit my oh, shit button. That's why we got to hit the shroud, baby. And you know what? I'm going to start using these lethals I find on the ground. Eat a molly. Enjoy that. I almost took myself out with it, though. And it's not really killing those zombies. It's just doing damage to them, which is, like, nice and everything. But I need to do a little more. Try another one. Eat it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now fire, go away. Please let me in. There's some scrap in here and I'm going to take these nades. You know, let me craft some nades. I'm not going to use this green scrap for anything. We made it to round 20. Honestly, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But it's going to, we're going to hit a round and all of a sudden we're going to be like, what the hell is going on? At this point, the shotgun like still works, but it's just so slow. So I'm going to show you guys one easy trick that Dr. Peck hates. Train up all the zombies and just throw one nade. And then there you go. They're all gone. Except for this guy. Now he's gone. And then you just wait for them all to spawn in and do it again. Eat it. See you later. 
And there's just two nades and the whole round's gone. Oh, and they even drop more nades for me when I do it. What gentlemen? It's so crazy that just one nade can do all this in Cold War. Take out an entire horde of zombies just by tossing it. And it'll do that at any round. Any round. It could be round 24. It could be round 240. It'll still take out all zombies within its range and just one nade. It's kind of like stupidly broken, but it's so much fun to use. I, I feel like if the these nades hit marker, Cold War would not feel the same. Our third Megaton of the day is here. Guess what, buddy? Get stunned. Get shot up a little bit. Oh, he takes way less damage than I was thinking. Shit. This could be a little tough. Zombies, I need you guys to fuck off too. Enjoy that nade. Oh, that end of the round. I forgot Megatons don't count towards the round count. I gotta take this guy out soon. There we go, got him splitting. Go ahead and start splitting. Thank you. There's always a big delay for some reason for me. When I get the Megatons down to no health prior to splitting, they just kind of stand there for a bit. What? What? Oh, that's bullshit. I stunned you, you little fuck. But Joe, he was immune. He was still splitting. Whatever. I thought I timed it right. There goes our one self revive. Actually, could probably buy more. I got a decent amount of scrap. I'm going to do that. Aether Shroud. See you later. Support. Self revive. Got it. Now that starts our, our first of many self revives that we've bought or will buy. And I think this is where we need to start using our death machine. And they're doing crazy damage to me. These... Megatons need to leave right now. Okay, Aether Shroud. Pull out the death machine. Where'd they go? I can't see them now. It's all black and white. There's one of them. The other one's all the way over here. Got him. Oh, I'm very low though. Ooh, shit. That was close. I swear if I get all the way to like round 40 doing this and I still only got to round 40 on some maps with the Howling event going, I'm just trash. Or I'm good, because I'm doing it without it. I've simplified my train quite a bit. I'm literally just running in a circle right here. Between these trees and the ammo box. I'm not even having to go around the entire spawn. And all the zombies just get grouped up and killed. I've now switched my circle train into a figure eight. It's kind of uh, insane here that I've gone from one circle to two. But you know, that's just what elite gamers do. We, we improvise, we adapt, and we overcome. We made it to round 30. A lot further than I thought we were making it. And I'm only 10 rounds away from our average on all of our other first rounds. So, you know, do with that information what you will. What's going on, Megaton? You here to be a little bitch? Mm, is, a, is a bitch a clock already? Damn. Must have, must have lost my watch. It's also death machine o'clock. Go ahead and start splitting. Thank you. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's why we got the button, baby. But now what kind of sucks is all my zombies are spread out. I can't really train through them. Jump over. Ooh, -hoo! get hurdled, bitch. Tony Hawk. Just kick flipped right over their heads. These guys really fuck up the strat like a lot. And they don't like to take damage. Oh, I already used a full death machine on them. So eat another nade. Is that enough for Aether Shroud? It is. I'm using it. Our round already ended, but these guys need to leave right now. Come on. A death machine to the head doesn't do that much damage for you. There you go. Get out of here. Damn. We can get through all the zombie rounds just fine. When Megatons show up, mm -hmm. there's only one zombie left in the round, and I don't want to waste a nade on it. But this shotgun takes forever to kill now. I put two clips, all 12 rounds into him, and he's still just pandering around. Going on a nice little jog. Get out of here. Oh, max ammo though. Thank you. At least you replenished my ammo. Oh, we made it to round 40. Let's go. So we've made it to about our average round on these first room challenges. Only difference is there's no pumpkins on this one. What am I doing different? I don't know. Probably just using nades. I probably should have been using nades a whole lot more for those other challenges. We made it, made it a lot further. But I'm proud of myself. No matter what, whenever we eventually go down here, I think round 40 is a good spot. I think we did good. What the fuck hit me? Man, I, I thought I was gaming hard there. I was doing a good good job training and all of a sudden I'm dead. But I did do a good job of making all the zombies go to one spot and they got me a self revive. So there's that. Easiest recovery of my life. Oh, we made it to round 50. Who would have fucking thought? Not me. I have no idea how we're doing this. I'm actually kind of getting sleepy from how easy this is. So let's spice it up a bit. I'm turning on the Rampage Inducer for these final five rounds. Or at least the final five rounds that I can be on for. Could be our final five, but I doubt it. I'm way too good. Holy shit. These zombies are fast. And now we got a Megaton too? Damn. Get the fuck out of here. Eat a Gersh. Uh-oh. Gonna have to Aether Shroud again. Need another Death Machine. And now you can continue to get the fuck out of here. There we go. All gone. And we survived uh, a rampage inducer round. That's kind of crazy. No, 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 no. Ooh, that one got close. 
Very low health. Thought I was about to get cornered. But the speed difference on these zombies is insane. Some of them are super spinners and the rest are kind of just walking. Makes it a little difficult to train, but they still all die the same by a nade and by me going down on my own. But that's irrelevant. The only thing I got going on in my head right now is that like one preschool song that goes the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. And I don't remember the rest of it, but it's kind of a heater. If you're ever wondering what I'm thinking about while I'm doing these challenges, that it, that's basically it. Just nonsense. We got one more round of our rampage inducer. I should have been doing this the whole time. It would have been a lot faster, but we've made it all the way to health cap. I'm still surprised that we're alive and we've only gone down five times. That's like one tenth of how many times I went down during the firebase C first room challenge. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did Silky just say? You're going to F yourself, then you're going to go down. I'm assuming that's F. And then he went offline. Coward. And the rampage inducer is off. Damn, we're making it pretty far. I was not expecting to make it this far. I'm like, you know what? We'll just record a quick little video. I'll rant about the Halloween event for a little bit, and then we'll be good. I've been recording for two hours. Fuck. And now I've gone down. But we already have the strat for this. All zombies go to one spot. All zombies die. Joe walks over here. Why is a self revive? Oh shit, damn it. Zombies are getting a little tougher and a little faster over here. Fuck, we're down again. It's honestly kind of optimal to go down. You don't have to do any training and you get free armor out of it. No. Oh, Aether Shroud, that was close. I almost just went down grabbing another self revive. That would have been bad. I'm still kind of in awe at the fact that one of our best first room challenge runs has been without the pumpkins. I could have been getting to round 100 on every map if I, had, you know, actually used my brain for a second. Or maybe this is the best yet because I'm the most experienced now. This is the map where I, I, I've trained in the spawn room quite a bit. And I've done a bunch of first room challenges recently. Maybe I just needed the experience under my belt. Fuck. Oh, oh that was close. I almost just threw the whole game. Oh, only 50 health. Good timing on that Aether Shroud. I was about to get slapped. Damn. I still have 4,000 blue scrap too. I am good on supplies. We can just go on forever. Okay, well, immediately slapped in the mouth. They don't fuck around on round 60. Ooh, I'm almost out of green scrap. I basically am actually. Once you get to a certain point, they do not spawn in any green scrap. This could be bad for us. Because mainly what I've been doing is just buying Semtexes whenever I run out. Because it's just the easiest thing to get. Now I have to rely on the kindness of these zombies to drop me something good. Which usually doesn't end well for me. But in terms of blue scrap, I got 4,000 of that. I could buy self-revives for days. I could buy death machines for days. Like we are set. But problem here... I don't have any nades. There's some tomahawks. That'll take forever. Oh, wait, there's one nade on the ground. We gotta get these guys all grouped. We'll hit them with a, a stun, maybe two. Hit them with a nade and then stun them again. Make sure they stay in place. There we go. I saw a monkey bomb on the ground too. We might have to use that. Can I get this off? We're gonna be real slow winding it up. Okay, go. And the tomahawks are gone now, even if I wanted to use them. Might have to use death machines for everything now. Which is not optimal. But whatever we gotta do, we'll do it. Fuck. He immediately got me down. Now I can't really do the nade strat. Gonna have to self-revive. I'll use what I got in this death machine with all the zombies grouped up. It still works really good. Oh, and we have a fucking a Megaton rearing its ugly head. I, I can afford a few nades. I'll grab those. This is fucking tough. They just took out our only strat. Megaton, get the fuck out, please. Or at least split. Oh, I just got one punched. That sucks. And I don't have an Aether Shroud. I have stuns and a molly and a bit of a death machine left. I literally cannot get hit by anything. We have an Aether Shroud back. Let's go. This is gonna be a fucking uphill battle for sure. Oh shit. No, this is not good. No Aether Shroud. One nade again. We'll nade these guys. Um, self revive. Death machine run. I don't know how I survived that. Oh, I should probably stop asking questions. One health. I don't even have Jug to give me that one health boost. Okay. Got sniped. This is not looking good for us. Death machine time. They're all far away. Hopefully I can get enough for our Aether Shroud. Stun them. Took one out. Took two out. Aether Shroud. <sighs> you get Aether Shroud back so fast. It's carrying. And now I'm out of blue scrap. I was just saying how good I was on it. And now we're fucked. Oh, an insta-kill? This actually might help out a lot. I can actually get some kills with my shotgun now. 
There we go. Woo. Made it to round 64. Just off the skin of our balls. So this sucks. I can't buy another death machine. So if another Megaton shows up, I have no idea how I'm going to kill that. And if I go down again, no way I can buy a self-revive. Oh, shit. No. This is fucked up. All right. Well, this could be our very last self-revive. Let's use it. Need these guys. Need these guys. Aether Shroud. Can I afford another one? No, I cannot. It's 950. That sucks. I got no nades. No way to kill any of these zombies. I'm out of stuns. Oh, wait, is that a nade? Let's go. And there's a stun right there. Perfect. Eat shit, zombies. I'm a survivor. And I don't have a stun to keep these zombies in place, but I can cook this nade and try to drop it last second. Let's try it. Oh, throw it. Run. Okay, I got a few there. A decent amount. Oh, low. fuck. I was just about to Aether Shroud, but 63 rounds in the first room, no pumpkins. That's not bad at all. Really quick, here's our final stats. 6,166 6, eliminations, 327 crits. That's bad. 17 downs. Eh, we take those, but that's where I'm going to end it. It's pretty unfortunate the Halloween event's gone, but I, I proved to you guys that I'm an elite gamer. Pumpkins are not. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Later.